Captain Skidmore here, AGS. Today we're going to talk about the management stat query screen. Listed here as stat query next to Q. Please go to enter option desired, place your cursor, enter Q, and enter. This is the management query screen or statistical data query screen. What's important to note is that I come here when I want statistical output about a unit or group of units over a period of time, given a certain set of criteria. This is one of the only screens where you can use the entirety of the screen for the query. You don't have to choose which section of the screen you're going to utilize. In this instance, we're going to do one brigade, and then I'm going to show you what that data could look like over the course of a quarter, given a certain set of criteria, and then we're going to come back and compare a bunch of different brigades. The first one we're going to use is first EZT 82nd. So 182 would be the code or field value for that DMSL. Let's say we're looking for 11 Bravos. And let's say the P levels that we're most concerned with or pay grades that we're most concerned with is 5, 6, and 7. Now, I want to see a quarter's worth of data, so I'm going to select the following months, October, November, December. Now I'd like you to press enter. This is the statistical report selection screen. You have a decision to make on this screen. The system is asking you how you would like to see your output. Would you like to see it in a management data display? Are you just concerned with strength of this particular unit given this criteria? Are you concerned with authorization of this unit given this criteria? Are you concerned with gains and losses only of this unit given this criteria, or are you concerned with unfilled requisitions? We're going to start with A, Management Data Display. I would like a terminal display, and I only want one copy. I'm not printing this anywhere. So press Enter. So report A, or the management data display listed here, gives you the same function you saw on the MM screen, or management screen, in that it allows you to self-check your work. So it's asking you, are you sure that you want to look at an output for DMSL 182, 11 Bravo MOS, and P levels 5, 6, and 7? If that matches exactly what you were looking for, proceed. You're only going to see one month's data at a time. Remember, we asked to see a quarter's worth of data. So we're going to see October 1st, and then we're going to see November, and then we're going to see December. What you're looking at is this. At the top of this screen, you are seeing a listing of screen names. That's what these are. On the far left, all the way down, are all of the pay grades associated with that. And then each row has a listing of numerical data. This numerical data, some of it is raw number, and then some of it is percentages. The percentages are identified as such, with the symbol in front of the screen name. Now, I would like to see what these screen names mean, wouldn't you? Press F1. Now, please press Enter. Your help text on this screen lists what each of those screen names stand for. Make a note of it. If you'd like to return to your data output, press F3. You're back in October 2011. Only now you know what your screen names mean. Press Enter. You're in November 2011. 
and press enter and you're in December 2011. That concludes what management data what the management data display report alpha gives you. I'm going to press F3 now to go back to our criteria entered. You're back at statistical report selection screen. This is where you can decide to see other report types. So let's say that our focus is strength detail. We're going to enter a Bravo where the alpha is and press enter. Now you're looking at the current month, but just focused on strength. If you'd like to know what these screen names mean on the far left hand side of this report, press F1. Press enter. These are what the screen names mean, and they're all listed out here. And it gives you current month and then all months. It broke the screen in half for you. Please press F3 to return. You're back at your query data. Press enter. At the bottom, you will see the comparison. And this is what we meant when we said that you can use MQ to compare data as well as for statistical information. The top is the current month. It does not change. However, the bottom of this screen changes. You are comparing your current month's worth of data for strength against your projected strength. Very important. Press enter again, and now you're looking at December 2011. Again, the projection of your strength. Please press F3. Let's say you would like a breakdown of authorization da data. That's what you're most concerned with. Change alpha to Charlie, press enter. If you're concerned with what these screen names mean, please utilize your F1 key and press enter. This is what those screen names mean. Press F3, and now you're back at your query data. What's interesting about authorization detail is it gives you both months in this quarter that you requested. So you're looking at October on the top and you're looking at November on the bottom. You press enter and you'll just see December show up on the top of the screen. That's the last month in your query. You can't go any further. The authorization data isn't so much for comparison as much as maybe you notice that you lost a slot or gained a slot in a certain section or lost a slot or gained a slot for a certain MOS or rank. Please press F3. You can go on. You can choose Delta for gains and losses and E for requisition detail, but I think we've sufficed. Please go to where next and type in MQ and press enter. Now let's compare the DMSLs across a bunch of different brigades. Let's use the same data, but now I want to see more brigades by division, not just mine. So we're going to search 182, 282, 382, 482, and we're going to look at aviation just for good measure. Now, the criteria is going to be the same. I still want to see 11 Bravos, and I still want to see the following pay levels, 5, 6, and 7. I also want to see them all, all of this data for this quarter. Once I've selected all of that, I'd like to press Enter. We're going to start with management data display. Press enter. Don't be alarmed if this report takes a while to load. Remember, you asked it a very big request. You said that I would like to see all personnel over one, two, three, four, five brigades that meet this criteria. 11 Bravo is a pretty common MOS. And then you said pay levels five, six, and seven, also very common going to take a little while to fill and then you'll see the output data by month. You're currently looking at October 2011. Remember, if you can't remember what these screen names mean, 
Press F1 and it'll tell you. Press Enter to navigate your way through the month. November, and then here we are in December 2011. Press F3, please. Press F3 again. And that concludes what we are able to do in the MQ screen.